<laughs> oh shit. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel again. So today I'm gonna be overviewing uh my music system and what I have done to it and what components I have and what I'm gonna be switching because I do plan on upgrading some stuff. So I'm gonna start with my radio. I've had this radio for super long. This is a Pioneer AVH4200 NEX. The reason I got this radio is because I had the option of, I had the rear RCA out, the front RCA out, and the sub separate. That's uh, one thing I wanted because a lot of radios come with the rear and sub where it's only one output and you have to uh, pick and choose. So this one has all rear uh, and sub separate. And that was a big reason. And then on the radio itself, I love the uh, options that you get. So you can star stuff. So I just have them up here, the ones that I use normally. So you have an EQ, which I'm going to phase that out soon. I'm just going to have it flat because I'm going to have an external one. And then you can turn on the rear speakers and turn them off. And then speaker level, which is where you can control the subwoofer uh, volume, basically. And then the speakers volume separate. And then one big feature that I like, it has a crossover um, built into the radio. So that's the front and then the rear. And then it has the subwoofer one as well. That's basically it there, but radio has done me well. I love it so far. I don't plan on changing it unless for some reason something dope comes out. And then let's go to the Chuchero. And then for the Chuchero, um, I have the driver, which is a D3220 Ti for titanium. So it has a smaller magnet than a big one, and it's a two-inch voice coil. And then for the tweeters, is a TW700 Ti. Um, so I have two of those. These need to be on a separate amp, working on that. And then these are the, uh, what, 10W650? So they're 650 watt each. It's a 10 inch Tuchero with the driver and the two tweeters. And then for my door speakers, I have these on the door and then on the deck as well. So I have four of them. These are the PRV six inches or six and a half. So I don't remember. I think they're six inches. And it's the six mbc or something like that and they're sealed in the back it doesn't have a cone so it doesn't need like a box or nothing so these sound really good really clear i like those a lot and then for my subs i have two um kicker comp r's they're what 500 what rms each i believe something like that then i have all the amps under here For the subs, I have the Kicker CXA 1800.1. And these are for the door speakers. Um, it's a CXA 300.4. And then this is an amp that I got from DR that is just for the Chuchero. It says 4,000 watts. How accurate that is, I don't know, but it sounds really clear. That's why I kept it and I'm going with it. Then I have my compressor for the air, the management, and then the distribution block that I have there. <laughs> Yo, so I'm bumping El Alfa's new album, like max volume. I blew my fucking subs. I smell that shit and they just turned off. So that means we got to upgrade, but I should probably pull over and <laughs> check if it's on fire because that shit smells so strong. But Chuchero's still bumping. <laughs> oh shit. I really, uh, really did it, huh? Yeah. They're probably done. They're overpowered as fuck. That's probably why. Let's see. That one feels blown. Um, literally, in the morning, I ordered new subs. And like an hour later, these blew. But I do have these super overpowered. Because these are 500 RMS each. Something like that. And the amp I have to them is 1800 RMS. And yeah. What can you do? Super hyped on
I got audio pipes, BDC, four stack magnets, two 12s. I'm so hyped for these. These are 1100 watt. These are 1100 watt RMS each. So that means I'm gonna have to be changing my amps. My plan is to get all that amps and get that all situated. It looks so beefy. So for now, I'm gonna use the kicker box that I have until I figure out what type of box I'm gonna get made. But it's perfect. The holes lined up and everything. It's a little bit crooked here, but the holes lined up with the kicker itself. So I use the same screws, which like I said, is gonna be changed once I made a custom box. And I wired them to two ohms. So let's get this one out. Add them both in. Like I said, it lined up. Looks good. Now I just gotta figure out the whole custom box. But this should do, these are what? 1100 watts RMS each. And I have an 1800 watt amp. So it's just a little bit underpowered, but not by too much. So those are the plans for the Civic and the new music setup. Stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to order everything within the next couple weeks and get this to start flexing the roof. I'm so excited.